Okay, hi everyone. Um, today we're gonna be doing some engineering drawings, and we have four drawings here. Um, the first one we're gonna be doing is this one. It's um, similar to a vase or a jar. Um, we have a cam from a camshaft, and we also have an engine part and a crane hook. So the first one we're gonna be doing is the jar but let's just let me go through some things with this one um the first thing you want to do when drawing is to get the center lines of the object okay first thing you need to do is get the center lines um here you see we have three center lines because we have um in an unfamiliar shape and we have different curves all about so we need to find the center of most of those curves which will be circles which are part of circles okay so this object is symmetrical therefore the measurements of the center lines are on one side okay on the other side the measurement over here is the same as over there and we're going to be using measurements that are in millimeters, okay? So once you see the numbers, um, you'll know they are in millimeters. The R for these curves and these um, arcs, the R stands for radius, okay? Um, sometimes you'll see either an R or something like a circle with a mark in it, which is diameter, okay? So you'll either see R or that symbol, which is diameter, okay? But for now, we only have radius and length measurements, okay? Um, okay, so let's start. We'll start on this blank sheet of paper under here. Let me just put that to the side. Um, we are going to start with the center lines. So we'll draw the vertical center line first. And then we'll draw the other um, horizontal center lines, okay? So what we'll need is a ruler. The length of the center line, the vertical center line, it doesn't have to be specific as of now. So we'll just draw a vertical line. If you have a drawing board with a T-square, advisable that you use your t-square and your set square okay so we're gonna draw the vertical line right here um, and the type of line we're gonna use is a center line which is a long dash a short dash a long dash a short dash and a long dash okay so long short long short long short long short long short and this is the representation for all um, center lines that you do in um, either engineering drawing or technical drawing it doesn't matter that is the symbol for um, center lines okay all right so the next thing we're going to do is draw the horizontal lines and if you look here you'll see there's one at the top so we're going to start anywhere at the top we're gonna draw a horizontal center line okay again if you have your t-square make sure it's 90 degrees across also so long line short line long line short line long short long short okay i think that's all we need for now okay now the next thing we're gonna do is there's a distance from here to here for the center lines, the horizontal center lines. The distance from here to here is shown on the outside, okay? So the distance from here to here is what? 79. So we're going to measure 79 on this line. We're not going to draw these uh, measurement lines, okay? We're going to measure 79 from the top of the horizontal center line and we're going to come down 79 millimeters so here i have my um, ruler we're going to measure 79 from the top come down okay and we usually start um, from zero go up 
so 79 would be approximately here okay because this is eight centimeters but we are doing it in millimeters okay so um there's a tenth um decimal difference so this is 75 this is 70 75 79 so you put your mark at the bottom right here okay so that's 79 millimeters okay we might have to make this a little bit longer um the next measurement just let's just make a map the next measurement is 50 millimeters if you can see here that is 50 millimeters right there so 50 millimeters is five centimeters so we're gonna draw five centimeters just give me a second here let just get this thing going okay so 50 centimeters we're gonna draw from here go down so five centimeters is right here and we're gonna go down let me move it up a little we're gonna go down um 50 centimeters that's gonna land us right here okay as you can see the length of our center line is not long enough so we're gonna come down and extend that line okay so we stopped at the short line so long line short line long line okay so we're going all the way to the bottom the next line is 20 millimeters so we're gonna come down 20 millimeters right here which is two centimeters and i'm at the end of the ruler some people's ruler um the zero starts a little bit in okay this one the zero starts at the end of the um the ruler so you always want to start at the end of the ruler okay all right so we have one two three lines we have the two center lines which is this one and that one and we have the bottom of the drawing which is this one okay so we're gonna draw two center lines here and then we're gonna draw a nice solid line at the bottom so let's start at the bottom let's get that center line and we're not going for specific measurements as yet okay so we'll just draw a light line going across and then the two center lines we're gonna draw um, across here also okay um, long line short line long line short line long line short line long line short line and then do the same thing up here our second line that was the 79 yes so long line short line long line short line long line short line long line short line okay so we have our center lines this is all we need to lay out our drive okay so let me pull the drawing back down here you can see it in the corner all right so the next thing we're gonna do we need to get um we're gonna start at the top so if you look here you see an arc right here for the top of the vase and you see an arc over here um the distance between each arc is um equidistant to the center meaning each side adds up to 50 and it's equal so if each side adds up to 50 and it's equal one half of the sides is going to be 25 okay so we need this point right here in order to draw our circle and that point is 25 millimeter 25 millimeters from the center line okay so let's get our points from the center line going out both um distances okay so we're going to take our ruler open it to 25 um this is 20 this is 25 right here and we're going to make a map can you see that we're going to make a map right here that is 25 and uh, we're going to make another map we're going to start from zero this time we're going to go out 25 to this mark right here okay so these are our two marks right here the next thing we're going to do is you're going to need a compass to draw the 
um, the drawing right here. So the drawing is two circles on either side. We already have the points right here. So you're gonna draw a circle that is radius eight millimeters, okay? Radius eight millimeters. That means, and I have my compass here. Um, you're gonna need a, a pencil also for your compass. Um, you're gonna open your compass to eight millimeters. And if you see, I have my ruler here. You're gonna put your point at zero and open it to eight millimeters, okay? And if you can see here, eight millimeters is 0 0.8 centimeters. So it's gonna end up right here, okay? That's eight centimeters. I hope you can see that. All right, so once you have it open, you make sure your compass does not move from that position. Um, and you put your point on each of the maps that we made which were 25 millimeters from each side, okay? After that, you make your points, you make your arcs, and you can draw a full circle. I prefer to draw a full circle on one side, that is one side, and then a full circle on the other side. Make sure your compass is not moving or has not changed, okay? And you should have those two lines at the top, okay? I hope you can see those. Um, let me just that just a little bit for, for your viewing purposes, okay? Okay, I think that's a little bit better, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we have these two arcs right here. So next thing we're gonna do is we need to get um, this curve in between this curve right here, okay? So this curve needs to touch this curve right here and that curve. So what we're gonna do, we don't know what this point is as yet. However, we can get this point because we already have the two center lines right here, okay? So what we're gonna do, as you can see, the center of this curve or this arc of the circle, um, the center is 21. It actually is not 21. It is half of 21 because remember the total weight, just like up here, the total width is 21. So the center is half of 21, which is 10.5 um, 10 millimeters from the center, which is here, okay? So this is gonna be 10.5, and this is gonna be 10.5 also, okay? So let's um, find the points for those measurements so that we can draw this big arc right here. Okay, so 10.5 on each side, All right? So 10.5 is one and a half a centimeter, okay? One and a half of a um, centimeter. All right, so one and a half is about here in between the one and the, um, the zero right here. So one and a half, you make your point, your mark there. You do the same thing over here. You go up to one centimeter, which is 10 and a half of a millimeter, sorry. A millimeter, not a centimeter. A half of a millimeter. All right, so you have those two points. And then what do we need to do next is to draw circles for these bigger arcs, okay? The radius is 37, so we take our compass, open it to 37, right here. We open our compass from zero to 37, and 37 in centimeters is 3.7. So 3.5 is right here, plus two, that's 3.7 right here, okay? That's 37. You put your point not in the center, 
the culture point right here, which is here. Okay, put your point here, and then you draw your arc. Okay, you don't have to draw the full circle. I prefer to draw the full circle. It makes everything much more clearer. Okay, but you don't have to. Um, I'll make it darker so you can see what I'm doing. After you've drawn that circle, you put it on the other side. Remember the other side, everything is the same for this drawing. It's not the same for every drawing. And then you draw the other circle. Okay? Alright, so we have four circles so far. Um, three center lines and the bottom right now. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing... We're getting there, we're getting there. The next thing we need to do is... To find the tangent of this circle to radius 8 which is this circle up here and to radius 37 which is this circle so we need to find um, we need to get this arc touching both circles and in order to do that we need to find the two points because you need two arcs to make a point or the two arcs um, to get that point so that we can draw the arc right here okay so what we're gonna have to do since the distance of the here to here is what 25 we need to get the distance from here to here which is 8 what we're gonna have to do is to add both radiuses in order to get the distance from here coming out to here because we will have to put our point at this point which we already have here and we're gonna have to draw our arc down here okay so if you look at that 25 plus 8 that would give us um, 33 okay so we open our compass to 33, which is here, 30, which is 3 centimeters, 0.3, which is 3 strokes, right here. And then we're going to put our point up here, right here, and we're going to strike an arc, okay? We're going to do the same thing, make sure your compass doesn't move. We're going to do the same thing over here. And we're gonna strike an arc this way okay this way and that way all right I hope everybody is following if you're not I'm um, just rewind and see if you can figure it out okay all right so we have the arcs right here the next thing we're gonna do is we need another arc coming down this way from this point, from these two points, okay? So we need that arc open here, going up that way. But we don't know the measurement. We don't know what the measurement that is as yet. So what we have, what we did up here, we add this radius to that radius, which gave us 33, 25 plus 8 is 33. What we need to do now is add this radius to that radius, which is 37 plus 25 and that will give us 50 62 okay so that will give us 62 I hope my math is correct that will give us 62 okay so we open our compass to 62 open it to 62 and then put your points put your point here which we already have already strike an arc and then put your point here not the center right here and strike an arc okay because this is the center of this circle okay all right once you're finished with that all you have to do now we now have the point that we need to draw the arc the two points that we need we have them to draw the arc so all we have to do now, the arc is what radius? The arc here is 
25 radius so all we have to do is open it to 25 which is also 2.5 25 right here and draw the apps okay so that app should touch here and down here okay see that okay do the same thing over here make sure your compass doesn't move put it on the point and you draw your arc okay if it does not line up then you have a measurement wrong you either have a measurement wrong or your compass has moved okay so once your compass has moved you need to go back and make sure on your ruler that your measurement is correct okay because sometimes your hand moves on the pencil part of the compass and it just nudges it a bit okay so once it moves then you would see that it's not touching okay all right so we have um, one app up here which is this arc up here it's touching that perfectly and the next thing we need to do now is to draw um, the horizontal line across this way um, the easy thing to do would be to just um, put it at the utmost part of the arc of the circle and draw it across um, but the correct way to do it would be to get 90 degrees from this point up here and this point up here we're going off the page a bit and draw vertical lines up here okay so that would be the uh, the the best way to get your tangent okay but um, the easiest way would be to just um, draw the line from the utmost part of the um, the circle okay so you would get almost the same result okay so what we have to do from these points we draw a line coming across so that it touches um, the line slightly and makes a tangent okay all right so the next thing we have to do is down here so the bottom part of the um, the drawing we have to complete so to do that um, if you look at the bottom here it's almost um, the length of they did not give you the length of this part so we're gonna say this is about 50 okay so we're gonna label this 50 um, I think it could be anything but let's do 50 so in order to get 50 right across Remember each side is the same, so one side is going to be 25, the other side is going to be 25, okay? So, what you can do, you can put your center point at 25, you can make your mark, oh, we have the wrong thing, make sure it's the bottom part. You can put your point at 25, make your mark here, and then we can go up to 50, make your mark here. Okay, and it would be equally apart. Okay, so we have those two marks. What we can do now, we can darken, can darken this part using our pencil. Can darken that, so you can see. So you can see that, and then. What we're going to have to do is take Okay, so what we're going to have to do right now is take the this curve right here is 23 we're gonna have to um, 
make this curve touch the end of this line and also the curve that is up here okay so um in order to do that there's a 20 um millimeter line from the bottom to here so in order to get that we have to get the measurement from 23 remember we add in so 23 plus because we want these two to touch together so 23 plus 37 that would give us 60 okay so we're gonna open it to 60 so for this instance we are adding the radiuses in order for them to touch so 60 we're gonna measure from here to here okay and then we're gonna um put it at the center point again up here because we don't have um what what point we need here yet as yet we don't have this point as yet so we have it at 60 we're gonna put our point here and make sure it crosses over here and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side make sure it's 60 and it's good to always check so if you're not sure if your compass move make sure you check here and make sure it's 60 okay so mines move just a little bit so put your point here and then make your 60 map okay um the next thing we have to do is <clears throat> take this now um make it 20 measure 20 from this point actually measure 23 from this point so we're gonna put it at 23 well actually you don't need this measurement then because if this radius is 23 you just put your point at 23 which I just did right here put your point here and that point should touch here and also down here so we're gonna extend this line actually okay so we're gonna go from here we're gonna come down to here okay so there was a reason why they did not give the fifth the measurement for the bottom because this line would automatically touch the bottom okay so your compass should be at 23 put your point here make sure it's touching and then make your mark from here come around to here and it should be touching that line okay all right so we have the shape right here so all you need to do right now is to darken what you actually need to darken so this is the object right here um you have um construction lines all about so all you need to do is send a message by darkening all the outlines using solid lines okay so i'm gonna do that right now so this line actually comes out to here so we're gonna darken this one right here um, we're gonna darken the top one because we're only using rulers okay right here and when we are darkening um, sometimes it's best to use a different grade of pencil um, <clears throat> like a B pencil would be better for darker lines and an H pencil would be better for the lighter lines okay um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna darken it using um, my pen and I'm gonna make sure that the lines that are there before I'm gonna use my pencil I'm gonna make sure that the lines that are there before are darker than the construction lines that do not need to be darkened okay so that would be right here 
Okay. And right here. Remember, um, the other side, it's the same thing on the other side. So there's no need for any adjustment really. Okay. Same thing on this side. Okay. All right, get to the bigger lines now. And you don't have to measure anything. You just go out to the, to the line, the circle. And remember, we're not drawing inside. We're just touching the outer part of the circle so it meets the other um, circle at its tangent, okay? So this is our arc right here. All right, Do the same thing on the other side. Here. Okay. And then up here now, make it shorter. And then we draw our arc right here. Draw our arc right here. Okay. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Put it over on the other side. Comes in like that, and then for this small arc, now make it smaller right here. Make sure our pencil is nice, okay. And then we just make it come around. Um, some people would prefer to sketch, I prefer to use. Um, the compass as it's more accurate using the compass and then we come around here and we do this okay right here some people would um kind of erase um, the construction lines i don't really like to erase the construction lines because <coughs> It actually shows the process and it actually looks a little bit more beautiful so yeah this is the first drawing which is the jar um, for the next drawing we're gonna do the cam from the camshaft of an engine and I'll show you how to do that in the next video okay so thanks for watching I hope you understand if you don't Keep practicing go back to the um, rewind look at what I did look at all the measurements that I took from the rulers if you make a mistake don't be afraid to start over um, practice makes perfect so keep practicing all right thanks if you like this video um, subscribe to the channel um, hit the like button and it will go out to many others okay Thanks for watching. See you next time. Later.